time is it, y'all? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow me on Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-O-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. And it's time to get this series review started. All right, y'all. Tomorrow out on Netflix is the new series. It's season one of Fate the Wink Saga. It's a five-part episode. Well, it's like five episodes within the first season. Each episode about 45 minutes to like 55 minutes. So they're pretty long episodes. And let me tell you, it is pretty good. Now, the series is based off these books. They have these whole books. The, the I guess it's the Wink Saga. I think the first book this one is based off of is called The, the, Fra- the Fairy's Tale. But they've also made an animated series about it, which I have never checked out. But now after watching this season and this in this series, I am so interested to see it. Also, just to see how the differences are. And of course, to read the books, because you know they say the books are always better. It's about fairies. You would think fairies, little wings, Tinkerbell flying around. No, these fairies have like these special powers and each of them have like a, a special... You know, have you ever seen Avatar, the, the airbender? Like one of them you do, like you bend the air and somebody can bend the water and somebody, the earth, and, and then they got the fire and all that. Well, this is kind of like that. It reminds me of that because each fairy has kind of like a power. Like one has an earth power and they can make plants grow and do things and hold people. One of them has a water power and, and they can bring the water out and do powers with that. And one has like a fire power. One even has like a mind control power. <laughs> where they can like they they feel people's emotions but then they can also kind of get in their brain and and like in some parts you know they they can take pain away if the people are feeling pain it's really interesting it reminds me of a mixture between like harry potter and riverdale <laughs> kind of because they're teenagers they're living in like this like a harry potter they go off to school but it's like the school for magic and this is kind of like the school for fairies right so they have they're all in this school but they're teenagers so they have like the teenage jealousy between boys they also have the little teen romances so it has that element in it which is really mm-hmm. like kind of two different worlds that they call it the other world which is where the fairies are and then kind of like the normal world where just us humans are kind of like what harry potter it's the muggles and and then you know the the witches and wizards or whatever so this is kind of has the the two worlds but this girl lives in like the normal world with the family and all of a sudden she starts developing these powers you know like and and she don't know what she don't know what to say to anybody she don't tell her parents but she starts developing these powers and then you know she starts arguing with her parents like teenagers do and her powers kind of get out of control one day and she has the fire power and it like burns down our house and like injures her mom third degree burns and everything so she has these powers and I guess the headmistress of the other world where the fairies go to school, I think they call it Alfea, she comes in and takes this girl and brings her over to the other world to develop her powers and learn how to control them and things like that. But on top of this, something's crazy is happening. Because their school is like has this barrier around it, right, to keep things out. What does it keep out? They call the burn ones. Oh, these burn ones kind of wear, remind me of like a werewolf. Because if they scratch you and they get their burn juice in there, turn into like one of them, one of the burn ones. Like you turn into them. And, you know, people that have gotten it, they, they take even the splinters out, but they still got the poison in them. And it starts spreading to turn them. But they have potions to kind of keep it off, but not forever. To get rid of it forever, you got to kill that the original burn one that done did that to you, right? So this is happening. But this is the thing. They thought the burn ones was like eradicated a long time ago. So for these burn ones to come back into the presence and, and start, you know, causing havoc and everything, they're like, what's going on? Yeah. You find out more twists and turns, more things about the girl who didn't know, even know she was a fairy, more things about, you know, she has little classmates that they bunk with, flatmates, I guess you call roommates. And, you know, they their friendship starts developing. So it's just... It's just a neat twist of everything happening there uh, around this whole plot of, you know, fairies. So let me just tell you, I thought the cast was amazing. I thought their chemistry on, on, on screen was amazing. It just looked very natural. The main girl who I talked about, 
who didn't know she was a fairy. Her character name is Bloom, but her real name is what? Abigail Cohen. And she was in things like the the Chilling Witch, the Sabrina, the Tales of Sabrina that's on Netflix. Isn't Sabrina kind of like an offshoot of the Riverdale? I thought so. So I, I'm like, that's kind of why they have that feel. And then the creator is Brian Young. He did like the Vampire Diaries. So you can just tell as you're watching this, it has that whole feel Riverdale vampire virus even the Harry Potter with a little magic in there the fairy this is made for like the young adults I love me a young adult series so you know I loved it it ended where totally twist I didn't see coming totally cliffhanger I didn't see coming but also sets up for the season two which I'm like give me more I enjoyed the first season but the way they ended I'm like oh now it's gonna get really good I'm like already I was enjoying it was good but now oh if you have read the books let me know what you think and if you're excited because I know you've seen the trailers I know you're curious about the differences yourself so let me know what you think comments thumbs and all that and if you know we're watching this after the series comes out tomorrow on Netflix January 22nd and you've seen it let me know what you think comments thumbs Till next time, y'all.